गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यूल बी फाइन हाँ लास्ट टाइम वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी एन ए एंड वी हैव स्टडीड दैट दिस डी एन ए की अगर हम बात कर लेंगे दैट इट मैनली परफॉर्म्स टू फंक्शन एंड फर्स्ट फंक्शन वी कॉल्ड एज द ऑटो कैटेलिटिक और दूसरा हमने बात की इट इज जो फंक्शन इट इज हिटीरो कैटेलिटिक as the name indicates auto catalytic it means the self here we will see jo dna hai it direct is the synthesis of uh, uh, dna uh, dna in case of auto catalytic what happens here what we will see jo dna hota hai dna it direct is the synthesis of dna itself dna itself that's what we will see in this case that dna it forms the fourth state copy it forms the duplicate copy of the dna itself while as in case of the heterocatalytic jo dna hai it does not form the dna but it forms the other chemicals like proteins uh, rna etc now in this topic in, in this replication of dna we were discussing this autocatalytic फंक्शन देर वी विल सी जो डी एन ए है इट फॉर्म द फोटो स्टेट कॉपी इट फॉर्म द डुप्लीकेट कॉपी ऑफ द डी एन ए एंड दैट कॉपी दैट डी एन ए इट इज फॉर्म इट सेल्फ दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द रेप्लीकेशन हाँ जो पूरा जो मैकेनिज्म है इसका डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन का इट इट कैन बी डिस्कसड अंडर वेरियस स्टेप्स एंड what we will see that in these steps we will see they require more than dozen uh, enzymes ya yeah, we can say it requires many enzymes jo pehla humne step padha in this replication of dna we will see first step activation of activation kin ki ho jati hai deoxyribonucleotide ऑक्सीराइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड्स हियर इन दिस स्टेप वट वी विल सी वो नीड ए एंजाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फॉस्फोराइलिस एंड दिस रिएक्शन एट दिस स्टेप एट दिस स्टेप इट इज ऑफन कॉल्ड एज द फॉस फो राइ नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप जो हमने ऑलरेडी पढ़ा दैट इज द रिकॉग्नेशन ऑफ निशन ऑफ इनिशिएशन पॉइंट इनिशिएशन पॉइंट दैट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप हाउ वट डज दिस मीन रिकॉग्नेशन ऑफ initiation it means ki at what point ya at which place does the molecule of dna replicates ya yeah, we will say at what point at what place does the molecule of replication can take place ha now we have got mainly two types of the cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells in case ha huh, uh, in case of the prokaryotic cells for example we have got the uh, virus viruses we have got the bacteria where we will see ki jo wahan par dna molecule hota hai it is somewhat smaller in size and there may be only one place where we will see yeah we can say there is the only one initiation point where the replication takes place but in case of the eukaryotes where we will see that the dna molecule is somewhat bigger so there may be many initiation points uh where there may be many points yeah places where from which the we will see jo replication it takes place but all these points or these places they finally merge rather with one another second part jo hum isme dekh sakte hain jo bhi point jahan se hum dekhte hain ki replication start ho jati hai that point is called as the initiation point now to identify that initiation point what we will see, to uh, to identify the initiation point on the dna molecule we need certain 
proteins rather we need certain protein and these proteins are called as initiation initiator proteins which helps us in recognizes the initiation point so which which we have already discussed now third step हाँ सेकंड स्टेप में हम क्या देखते हैं कि नो एंजाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड नाउ थर्ड स्टेप अगर हम थर्ड स्टेप की बात करेंगे इट सिंपली मीन जो हमारे स्टेप यू कैन राइट इट इन द हेडिंग अनवाइंडिंग ऑफ डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल Unwinding of DNA molecule. We know that DNA is a double-stranded molecule. DNA is a sorry. DNA is a, a double-stranded molecule. It has got a helical structure, which we have already stated. that it is a double stranded molecule and it is a helical structure and what happens in this step we will see jo double stranded dna hai ya we will see that this double helix structure jo dna ka hota hai it starts unwinding it starts uncoiling into single strands of dna so this double stranded helical structure it starts unwinding first step we will see it starts uncoiling into a single stranded dna single stranded dna single stranded dna मॉलिक्यूल हाँ इनमें क्या हो जाता है कि वी नो दैट डीएनए में अगर हम देखते हैं व्हाट वी विल सी है इफ इट इज द थ्री प्राइमर इट इज द फाइव प्राइमर एंड इफ इट इज द फाइव प्राइमर इट इज द थ्री प्राइमर सॉरी फाइव प्राइमर थ्री प्राइमर एंड इट इज फाइव प्राइमर थ्री प्राइमर लाइक दिस what we will see on this strand there are the nitrogen bases and those nitrogen bases they are interconnected with each other by means of weak hydrogen bonds weak ya hum kahenge weak hydrogen bonds there are the bonds now what we will see that जो हम कहते हैं कि दिस अनवाइंडिंग या हम कहते हैं कि अनकॉलिंग ऑफ द डबल स्ट्रैंड हेलिकल जो होता है इट्स अनवाइंड इट अनकॉल्स इन टू सिंगल स्ट्रैंड डी एन ए बाय ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ दीज वीक हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स नाउ दिस अनवाइंडिंग जो हो जाती है दिस अनवाइंडिंग ऑफ द डबल स्ट्रैंड हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर इट टेक्स प्लेस with the help of the enzyme and that enzyme is called as helicase this unwinding of the double stranded or uncoiling of the helical it takes place by means of this enzyme that enzyme is called as the helicase now there are one more enzymes enzymes these are called as topo isomerases Yeah, topo isomerase. Now these enzyme called as topo isomerases. What did they do? They cut. First, what did they cut? Then they rejoin. First they cut. Then they rejoin. Then they add up. Then they rejoin one strand of DNA, forming the what we call as a helping the separation of the DNA helix. this topo isomerase what we call we have got the enzyme is called as a topo isomerase they cut and rejoin one strand of dna one strand of dna uh, helping the separation of dna helix huh? i will give an example aapne 
receive. This is the one rope, this is the another rope. When these two ropes they are twisted together, this is the one, this is the second. When these ropes they are uh, intervened rather, highly intervened, zor sam in copper, when these are highly intervened ropes they are pulled apart, jab hum in ko kheech lete, then when these are pulled apart by applying some force, hum koi force is par apply kar lete, ab jo do strand jo rissi hun ka, ek rissi o dousre rissi, what we say, they automatically wo khud ba khud, they intervene, wo khud ba khud, एक दूसरे से सेपरेट हो जाती है। What we'll see, they separate from each other as soon as this four जो हम उस पर अप्लाई कर लेते हैं, it is stopped. It is stopped. Now, what we will see, हाँ, कभी-कभार ये भी देखते हैं कि if one of the strand of the अगर एक ही, if one of the strand ये एक है, if one of the strand of this intervine rope, what intervine rope is cut, उससे क्या हो जाता है? Tension जो है, that is relieved and जो दो ये हम कहते हैं कि जो दो strand से सूं के होते हैं, they get separated from each other. What I have I told you if we have got the two ropes which are interwoven, which are intertwined together by applying the force. Ya hum unko aapas mein band kar rakte. Band ni intertwined. Kar lete hai if the two highly intertwined ropes humare paas hai then these intertwined ropes jo hote hai when they are pulled apart by applying the force jo do rissiyon ke jo tukde hote hai what we say, they automatically intervene as soon as the application of force stopped. Jab hum force apply kar lete hain, band jo karte hain, what we will see, jo automatically jo hai, do stop ho jata hai. Lekin, if one of the strand of the intervene rope is cut, वहाँ पर हम क्या देखते हैं कि टेंशन जो होता है वो रिलीव हो जाता है एंड दे गेट ऑटोमेटिकली सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर नाउ दिस एंजाइम टोपो आइसोमेरेस इट रिलीव्ड द टेंशन रादर इट रिलीव्ड द टेंशन बिटवीन द टू स्ट्रैंड्स ऑफ डीएनए एंड द टू स्ट्रैंड्स of this DNA, they are separated. What we will see, actually what happens, कि वहाँ पर क्या हो जाता है, what happens, see, five primer, three primer, what we will see 3 primer and 5 primer these are these nitrogen these uh, hydrogen bonds and what happens actually in this DNA uh, uh, helix structure jo, uh, enzyme topoisomerase jo hota hai they relieve the tension of the DNA strands or jo those strands hota hai they get separated from each other actually Due to this, what we will see, जो double strand helical structure में क्या हो जाए, due to this unzipping, जब वो separate हो जाते हैं, double strand DNA, you will see a replication bubble like this. It's a bubble shape, so replication bubbles are formed, they are formed. And what we will see, ultimately this replication bubble जो है, You will see this replication bubble जो होता है और formant which subsequent ये extend हो जाता है. These replication bubble ये आइस्ता आइस्ता extend हो जाता है and it forms this Y-shaped structure and that Y-shaped structure is called as replication fork. 
this is called as replication fork so you will find this structure now with the help of this helicase enzyme helicase what we will see this helicase enzyme it helps us in unwinding this helicase enzyme it helps us in uncoiling the double stranded dna now we have got one more enzyme that is called as i sorry topo isomer topo isomerases and these enzyme topo isomerases they cut and rejoin one strand of dna helping the separation of this dna helix now the main function of this enzyme topo isomerase is to relieve the tension to relieve the tension of dna strands and the two strands of dna they are separated actually what happens on the dna strand actually due to this unzipping of the double stranded dna replication bubbles this is the replication bubble this replication bubbles are formed replication bubbles are formed and these replication bubbles they uh ista 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 wo replication bubble it extends wo bud jata hai and it gives this y shaped structure which is called as the replication fork so third step jo hamare paas hai that is the unwinding of the dna molecule and this unwinding of dna molecule here we will see enzymes are used first one is that is called as the helicases and second one that is the enzyme topo isomerase so first step jo hamare paas that is the activation of deoxyribonucleotide second one is the recognition of the initiation point and third is the unwinding of the dna molecule now fourth step jo hamare paas aata hai that is formation of formation of rna primer what is this that is the formation of rna primer what happens in this step that step to hamare paas hai it will be discussed in the next video until then goodbye god bless you thanks